Baby, you need a rider So wanna hold you down, so wanna stand beside ya Don't hesitate to call, whatever you need, I got ya Let me be your chauffeur Let me fuck you fast asleep I'ma make you feel so complete What is good, y'all? What is good? I'm back with another video If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button too. I would really appreciate that and oh, I look so fake. Well, I'm not. It's my arms big. My ears itch. Okay, so y'all, as y'all can see my title, today's video is going to be on why do I want to be a stripper and tips on how to be a stripper because I know, I know, I've been studying this since I was like eight, nine years old. Like me and my god sisters and my ex best friend, we talk about this all the time yes at the age of nine i'm not making this video to say oh yes you have to be a stripper when you do something no. this is just a video on me well my opinion okay okay so um i'm trying to fix my leg yeah okay so um as y'all know me I always watch stripper vlogs, which is Pretty Boy XO, Stripper Life Up Bree, Christina, who else? Jen, who else? I be watching. Oh, Flex the Reaper. I don't really watch her no more like that because after that stuff that happened with Pretty Boy XO, I don't really watch her like that because I like, I feel like that was real petty. But she did. But I I used to watch her. She a good. She yeah, she keep her content up. Um, it's a lot of people that I watch that I I keeping up with Alexis. I love her and her twin sister. Her twin sister have a YouTube channel, but she was putting her twin sister on her channel. Like make videos with her sister. So yeah, it's a lot of them. Okay, so I watch them and uh, Pretty Boy XO is my favorite out of all of them. Is my favorite out of all of them. I love her. Uh, yes, Michaela, if you watching this video, baby, I'm gonna make sure I send this to your DMs. I love you, baby girl. Like I love you. She started me on meta manifesting, accomplish my goals. Like I love this girl. Like that's that's that's. And then the second is strip life of Brie. And yeah, I choose her for my second because she's really a God's child. Like she's really a God's child, but. Skip that. Let's get into this video. Period. Make sure y'all subscribe to that channel. I'm gonna leave this channel in the description box down below. I'm gonna leave um Christina's keeping up with Lexis, Bree, and EXO. I'm gonna leave both of them channels in the description box down below. But let's get into this video. Mm. Okay, y'all. So um, why I wanna be a stripper? Okay, so I feel like. Okay, so I'm 16. I work a nine to five job, like which is a nine to five mean you working them hours, you putting in that work seven days a week, eight eight hours on the schedule. You feel what I'm saying? But it's some do's and don'ts to a nine to five job. A nine to five job, the do's is you get paid every two weeks or every week. You feel what I'm saying? Then stripper, you like you can't get paid. That. You get paid every night to be a stripper, like you make easy money just shaking your booty instead of cashing somebody out. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all playing with the night, so don't make me. <laughs> but yeah, so I just feel like um working a nine to five job isn't for me. I have a bad attitude, a messed up attitude. And I would go from hell to hell up to up to. Like I have zero tolerance. Like my patience is like very low. But when it comes to my son, skip that. But when it comes to my son, I got patience for him. Not all the time, but sometimes because I'm still learning. I'm still a parent. So, um, another thing is, um, another thing is I don't like working for people. Like, I tried to start my own business, but it didn't take off successfully how I wanted to. So, I invested into some inventory that I still have now that been here for like six months. That never been touched except for the lip gloss from TKB Trading and the stuff that came from Amazon. But the stuff that came from actually vendors from Alibaba, I haven't touched yet. Like, it's all put up over there. Then when I be making my other videos, then the boxes I be using to set my phone up. 
or whatever. So yeah, that's that. I don't I don't want to work for nobody. Like, why am I working for you? You not work for nobody. Man, you is work for somebody. Work for corporate, but I still don't want to work for nobody. That's just how I feel. That's just the mentality of me feeling that way. I mean, shit, a lot of people like working for people. I mean, people are different. But me personally, I'm not working for nobody. I don't care who you are. You can be my cousin. I'm not working for you. Because family can be petty too. If you did not know, family could be petty too. So, um, another thing is, okay, so, um, I don't want to work for people while I work a 95 job. Okay, so another thing is why I want to be with this because, like I said in the beginning of the video, me and my god sisters and my best friend, we used to talk about this since we was eight. Uh, eight, nine years old. Um, another thing is, like, it's easy money. Like, for one, it's easy money. For two, I'm not shy at all. Like, I'm guest to. I'm bougie ghetto. So, bu ghetto. Bu ghetto. Whatever you want to call it. I'm bougie and ghetto. So, I can be sweet sometimes. I can be nice sometimes. I can get real ratchet real quick. Don't play with me. Don't play. Because I don't play. But, another thing is, um, y'all be lost on words. I swear I do. Okay, so nothing is like I'm not shy, or nothing. So then, um, you can't be shy going up into a club. Like, you can't be shy. I don't have experience. I'm just saying, based off the videos that I watch and the stories that they tell us off YouTube, you feel what I'm saying? And I know because I, I've been studying this shit since I was 89 years old. I keep saying this shit. But yeah, um, that's. That's that. Um, another reason why I want to be a stripper, because like I said, it's easy money. It's quick moolah. Like, you don't have to tell this person or how many hours you work just to get your bread right. Period. You make your money, put it up. Make your money, put it up. Make your money, put it up. It's the end of the night. Count that shit. Get, cash them, cash them uh, once in for big bills. You hear me? Big bills. On them big bills, period. You hear me though, Bree? What's we like on the big bills? <laughs> okay, let me stop playing. But yeah, you just cash your money out for the big bills. You go home, wake up, do it all over again. And me personally, I do not like people say stripping is a hoe. Is what hoes do? No. Stripping actually is something that you have to have a permit for. You have to have a permit. If you don't have a dancer's permit, I'm letting you know this now. They raid the club or they come check the club and they see that you don't have a permit. You're supposed to have your permit with you every single day. Or they have a club have a copy of the permit. You cannot work in a strip club without a permit. Some clubs allow you to, some clubs don't. But the clubs that I've been looking up and the clubs that I've been investing in, like the club that I want to go to, you have to have a work permit. A dancer's permit because if you don't you're going to jail for prostitution just letting you know just letting you know i know this because guess what it's on the vlog of one of my favorite people that i watch okay they let me know all the tea so um yeah that's that you have to have a work permit that's rule number one you have to have a work permit a dancer's permit it costs three hundred dollars, three hundred bucks, and it's a it, uh, valid up to a year. It expires. It's twenty twenty. So if I got a strip permit, my shit in twenty twenty one. So get that, baby. Some three hundred dollars. We can make that right back. Another thing is um, that's rule number one. Make sure you get that permit. Make sure you get that permit. Make sure no ifs, ands, and buts about it, baby. I don't want you to go to jail. I want you to go to jail. So make sure you got that. Make sure you got that on day. Rule number two is don't be shy. Like, don't be shy. Like, you can't be shy. Like, you can't. You know what you're saying up for, baby girl. So you can't be shy. Rule number three is. Don't go in the club and get drunk and sit around all day on the hooker or on your phone. What was the point of coming? You is it's time to go. Now you 
Uh, we ain't make no money. Woo, woo, woo. This, that, and third. I'm drunk. I can't drive home. Boo. When you sign up to be a dancer, you don't supposed to drink at all. Is what I heard. You don't supposed to drink, but they still let you drink. You're supposed to have like at least two shots. Not more than two because you get drunk. So, like, that's rule number three. Don't get drunk because I know damn well when it's time for me to go to work, I'm not going to sit in there and be on my phone all day, getting drunk all day, on a hookah all day. You think I'm going to leave my son for that? You think I'm going to leave my son to go sit on my ass and I can sit on my ass at home? And guess what? These are the same exact words that came out of Stripper Life of Brie Mouth. These are the same words that came out of her mouth. Don't go to the club and get drunk or sit around all day and then complain so you don't have no money. You were sitting around all day, so how do you expect to make some money? Like, that's rule number four, number three, I think. I don't know, whichever one, I don't care. But rule whatever next coming up, do not, do not, I repeat, do not be greedy. Do not be greedy. Because the more you be greedy, the more you're not going to make any money. You be greedy. Okay, I'm going to give y'all patterns down. I'm going to make sure I put her in the description box. I'm going to make sure I put her, her YouTube channel in the description box. Stripper Life of Brie. She always say before a video start or she always mention in her videos. Don't be greedy because once you be greedy and you have a dance partner, more than one dance partner, which is it's three of y'all. One on the floor, two on the floor, one on the stage. One on the floor, two on the stage. Or whichever one it works. Whichever way it is. Once it's time to bust them bags down and you don't want to bust a bag down with somebody. Saying, oh no, they don't know. That's being greedy. And that will stop your blessings. She always said that that will stop your blessings. That's why I say she's a she really a God's child. Like she is too nice. She's too nice. Y'all. She is too nice. I agree. She is too nice. But, yes, she is too nice. I really love her, though, like, period. I watch her live videos on Instagram. I do all that. But, period. So, yeah, like, don't be greedy. Please do not be greedy. Because your time is coming. God gives you some bad days. He gives you some good days. Some rain days. Some sunny days. You feel what I'm saying? But don't be greedy. That's that that's number one trend. Don't be greedy. Because once you be greedy, you cutting your blessings. Don't be stingy because you're cutting your blessings. Like, you see this knife? Cutting your blessings, period. So, yes. You might have some good nights. You might have some bad nights. It all depends. Or if the club's slow or if it's busy. If you're a new dancer, don't come in there and not know nobody. Like, you at least have a new friend in there. Or at least know somebody that works in there because this is going to be really depressing. I know this because I watch this guy. But, them are the rules. I told y'all why I wanted to become a dancer because it's easy money. And I have a son to take care of. I'm not finna be waiting on a two week check. None of that. Like, I'm not finna be working for nobody, clocking in for nobody. I can see, be with my son all day long. Until like 6 o'clock p.m. and come in the house at like 5 and then wake up at like, what, 12 something? Be with my son all day long with no problems instead of going to a 9 to 5 job. Like, who wants to work a 9 to 5 job? Who wants to work a 9 to 5 job? Nobody. Nobody. I would come over my head and ask her right now, Granny, you want to work a 9 to 5 job or you want to do a stripper? And my grandma, she used to be a little stripper back in the day. She gave me the game, too. She gave me the game, too. She definitely told me you have to have work for me. Back in the day, you didn't have to have a work for me, but you still went to jail for prostitution at the end of the day because you're shaking your ass. You're fully new it. Yes, honey, you're going to jail for prostitution. So, with that being said, make sure y'all get the work permits. The dance permits, I bet y'all do it. Some of you I've already looked it up. I already called it out. But. With that being said, this is the end of this video. Before I end this video off, make sure y'all click the link in the description box to get this hair, guys. Okay? My edges just sweat out because it's hot. But this hair right here is from All Love Hair. You can use my code and get 10% off. Naya 10 N Y A A 10% off. Period. But make sure y'all do that thumb. 
it's some good hair it just snapped up right now if y'all y'all can watch my other video i'm gonna link that in the description box down below on how i achieve this this style i'm going to get my hair done tomorrow which is saturday it's friday so this video will be uploaded like friday morning at 12 a.m because i make it too so if y'all see me in this shirt again or in a different shirt or a gray tank top just know i made this video I made two videos in the same day. I'm going to do a vlog or go to a to with me. And yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So this is the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. Night out. Peace. Baby, you need a ride. So I wanna hold you down. So I wanna stand beside you. Don't hesitate to call. Whatever you need, I got you. Let me be your stress, let me fuck you fast asleep I'ma make you feel so complete